Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS. You can see both the ovaries. The Rotterdam consensus defined as polycystic ovary as having 12 or more follicles measuring between 2 and 2 and 9 millimeter and an ovarian volume more than 10 centimeters cube. Polycystic ovary syndrome is a set of symptoms due to elevated androgens, male hormone in females. Sign and symptoms of PCOS includes irregular or no menses, menstrual period, heavy men's periods, excess body and facial hair, acne, pelvic pain, difficulty in getting pregnancy, and patches of thick, darker, velvety skin. We don't know exactly the cause of this syndrome, but it is believed that high level of male hormones prevent the ovaries from producing hormones and making eggs normally. Genes, insulin resistance and inflammation have have all been linked to excess androgen production. You can see both the ovaries having multiple small follicles. Patient do have the symptoms of heavy menses. Common symptoms of polycystic ovary syndrome include irregular period or no period at all, difficulty in getting pregnancy because of irregular ovulation or failure to ovulate, excessive hair growth, hirsutism usually on the face, chest, back or buttocks, weight gain, thinning hair and hair loss from the head, oily skin or acne, different types of polycystic ovary syndrome and what kind of polycystic syndrome do have there are four types of PCOS insulin resistance the second is inflammatory third one hidden cause and the fourth one pill induced PCOS this is the most common type and it is uh, it, this type is may be caused by smoking, sugar, pollution, and trans fat. A patient guide to polycystic ovary syndrome can be found in the link below in my in the description of this video and you already have seen in this video there are more than 12 small follicles seen in both the ovaries the patient is unmarried aged about 19 years and have been suffering from this syndrome since the last 12 months since the last one year this is uterus this one is the right ovary and this is the left ovary thanks for watching i have given some useful information about this syndrome in the description and patient can also have some information as well as the clinicians thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button